A bank features a savings account that has an annual percentage rate of 4.7% with interest compounded quarterly. Marie deposits $4,500 into the account. The first question is how much money will Marie have in the account in one year? And then second, what is the annual percentage yield for the savings account? Remember the annual percentage yield is the simple interest rate that would produce the same return at the end of one year as an account that paid compounded interest. So for the first step, we'll determine the balance after one year using the compounded interest formula shown here below, or A, the amount after T years is equal to P sub zero, the initial deposit of $4,500, times the quantity one plus R divided by N, where R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal, and N is the number of compounds per year. So because the percentage rate is 4.7%, 4.7% as a decimal is 0 0.047, which means R is 0 0.047, and then N, the number of compounds per year, is four, because the interest is compounded quarterly, and there are four quarters in a year. This is raised to the power of n times t, where again n is four, and t is the time in years, and because the time is one year, t is one. And now we'll go to the calculator and round to the nearest cent. We enter 4,500 times the quantity one plus 0 0.047 divided by four. This is raised to the power of four times one or four, so we press the exponent key, four, and then enter. To the nearest cent, the account balance after one year is $4,715.26. And now let's determine the annual percentage yield, or APY. And there are two possible formulas. Let's show both. This first formula requires that we have the balance after one year. The second formula does not require the balance after one year. Using the first formula, the APY is equal to the balance after one year minus the starting balance, and this difference is then divided by the starting balance, which means the APY is equal to the balance after one year, which is $4,715.26 minus the starting balance of $4,500, and then this difference is divided by the starting balance of $4,500. And because we're asked to round the percentage to the hundredths place value, or two decimal places, and this will give us the decimal, we'll have to round this quotient to the fourth decimal place. So we have in the numerator 4,715.26 minus 4,500. So this is in parentheses, and then divided by 4,500. We round to four decimal places. Because we have a three in the fifth decimal place, we round down to 0 0.0478. Which means the APY is 4.78%. So again, this means after one year, an account that pays 4.78% simple interest would have the same return as the given account that pays 4.7% interest compounded quarterly. But let's also find the APY using the second formula, where the APY is also equal to the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of N minus one. And of course we should get the same result. So we have the quantity one plus R divided by N is going to be the annual interest rate as a decimal, which is 0 0.047 divided by n, which is four, because we have interest compounded quarterly. This is raised to the power of n, which is four, and then minus one. So going back to the calculator, we have open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.047, divided by four, close parenthesis, this is raised to the fourth power. To get out of the exponent position, we press the right arrow, and then minus one, enter. Notice there's a slight difference between these two values, and that's because remember, the 4,715.26 was rounded, and this is exact. 
but running to the fourth decimal place, we still have 0 0.0478. which gives us the same APY of 4.78%. I hope you found this helpful.